this is the Gravonics GX150 and GX200. Uh, they're both identical except for the GX200 has a different membrane than a GX150. And they have designations. This is a GX200HF, which stands for high flow. And here's a GX150HR, which stands for high rejection. And we're going to talk about that a little more later. Uh, and here's the box it comes in. One thing that's really great when you're going to purchase an RO, and I believe we're the only people that do this, is we publish a flow chart on the side of every RO filter that we, we manufacture. And on the side of the box, you'll see a flow chart which shows you how much this filter flows at a certain temperature. A GX200 HF has a GXM200 high flow membrane in it, uh, which flows about 200 gallons a day at 70 PSI. Uh, the 200 HF is a high flow membrane, like I said, which will give you more flow with a little less rejection. That means the TDS will be a little higher on the end product. Now the GX150 HR is a high rejection unit. And on the high rejection unit, you're going to get much cleaner water, as clean as it can be, actually, with a little less flow rate. Uh, the GX150 HR is really popular for drinking water, aquariums, um, medical, anything that re uh, needs really pure water. The GX200 HF is really popular for agriculture, for hobby farms, for growing because we, it's, it's all right to have a little bit extra TDS, but the flow rate is unmatchable and just wonderful. And it flows as much as all other dual membrane units um, with the single membrane. So when it comes time to replace the membrane, it's half the cost. So when we started conceptualizing a GX200, um, we compared it to all the other products on the market. And a 200 gallon, a, all the other 200 gallon a day RO systems had two membranes. And the replacement cost of those membranes is about $200 roughly at uh, retail. So then we started testing membranes out and we, after a long run of development, we were able to get 200 gallons a day out of a single membrane. The rejection was a little less, TDS was a little higher. The average TDS coming out of a GXM200 membrane is about uh, 20 ppm, which is uh, well in the scale for agriculture and growing. It's even fine for drinking. Now the GX150 um, kind of answers the solution for people who want really clean water. And personally, this is what I use for drinking water at home. The, 100, the GXM150 membranes. These are the best membranes for drinking water. Now if you own an aquarium where it's a real sensitive environment and you have expensive fish in there, especially a saltwater aquarium, uh, the GXM150 membrane is the one to go. So. You can get these units with two separate carbon filters, or two different carbon filters. Uh, a KDF85 catalytic carbon filter, which has a, a bed of the best carbon on the planet, a really highly activated catalytic carbon, and a bed of KDF85. Or you can get it with an uh, eco-green carbon block, which is a compressed carbon block. It's a standard carbon block. It's really good for chlorine. It's not uh, the best thing for chloramine. Uh, but it's made with a manufacturing process that is, releases a lot less greenhouse gas, so it's a really efficiently made carbon. Uh, for most water problems though, uh, especially chloramine, which a lot of, almost all cities are switching to, the KDF filter is the one to use. Uh, the GX200 is packed with all of the feature benefits we could put in a small RO. Um, and there's really no much more we could do. We wrapped it in a patented electro-galvanized steel bracket with a nice little carrying handle at the top so it's easy to move it around. We put a two inch stainless steel liquid filled gauge in it, which is great for super accurate input pressure monitoring. And when you hook a booster pump to it, the needle won't fluctuate from the, from the uh, liquid filled. It's got clear housings. It's also available in white, these housings if you want, special order. And it has the best fittings on the market. Dual O-ring fittings, American made and John Guess fittings. These are the best fittings you can possibly put on an RO unit uh, to safeguard from leaks and the potential for leaks. We went the full Monty with this unit and brought it to you at the same price as all the other units on the market. This is everything that comes in the box. You get uh, 10 feet of quarter inch uh, black and white tubing plus 10 feet of 3 8 tubing to hook it up. Uh, a filter wrench to remove the, the uh, filter housings, a manual, you get a garden hose connector if you want to hook the input of this unit up to a garden hose. You get an extra ball valve which you can use to shut the unit off or for any other thing that you might need in the garden, courtesy of us. And you get a drain clamp which hooks up the drain uh, of the RO to an existing pipe. You don't have to use it but we give it to you anyways.